Imi Knöbel is an artist who is also known for working with strict geometric forms. He is interested in not just the square per se, but also the spirituality emanating from the black square. Throughout his career, he has continued to develop new approaches to this issue without straying from the principle. For the first 10 to 15 years, a large part of his work was all black and white. And then he discovered colour. He always says that his friend Blinky Palermo was responsible for colour. He came to colour through Blinky. It is remarkable when someone works according to strict rules and then intentionally breaks them. These works here are from the series Asteroiden mit gespaltener Persönlichkeit. The title of each picture refers not to the date of its production, but as a group. They are asteroids. He began making these in 2013 by combining different forms and colours. His discovery of colour led him to work with colour more and more, and it even became the main point in his late work. He invents colours, and he has a large colour laboratory in his studio. He writes them down on paper and then finds the form for the picture. These two elements... Each colour, tied to a form, are then combined to create an entity, a new constellation. In the beginning, these works had two parts. The newer ones now have three. We are in the first big room in the gallery, with these four Drachenlinien. Drachenlinien refers to the kites you fly on a line. For Knöbel, they evoke the freedom of form and colour and of the picture that hovers in the room. This really gives you the impression that the colour is expanding outward, because Imi Knöbel always works with aluminium panels. There is a scaffolding behind them, like a canvas picture, which means that they are detached from the wall and really do acquire a certain lightness. For example, this green one here, that's almost olive green, is a kind of hexagonal kite. It could be a regular polygon, we can really see the way each piece is cut free-handed even more clearly than in the asteroids. It evolved out of several parts that were reassembled into a whole. There are different lines cut here instead of a through-going line, like in the other kites, which rather have a horizontal dividing line or cut, a more vertical line or a more diagonal cut, like in this one. They are very sophisticated in terms of composition, and simplicity. Here, the free-handed painting style we talked about earlier is very obvious. The relatively dark paint, tending towards red, shows a highly expressive application of paint. He applied the paint, let it dry, then painted over it. It is not merely covered in paint or painted evenly like a wall. It is a classic painting. At first glance, we can see that it is very simple. Two parts are put together and painted separately. He worked with each part individually, which also creates a tension in the composition, meaning it is actually part of the work. He doesn't just work with the entire surface, the two parts also have a subtle relationship. Another essential element in these new works is how he cuts without a ruler. Before, each line was precise, geometric. Here they seem more free-cut and uninhibited, like Matisse with his paper cutouts. You also notice that the rectangles have also been cut without a ruler. This is an entirely new aspect in his work, and it lets emotions run free. According to Malevich, the goal is not even abstraction. It is nothing. It doesn't represent anything.